a very few of some examples of key events that occurred in the ghetto and how the Rebbe responded to them, to his audience. Ah, so the, I, my book is replete with these examples. Um, in I mentioned earlier, like there was one passage where uh, he fleetingly refers to an event in real time and space. Uh, it's in Toldos 1940, uh, which uh, I believe was around November 1940. I can, I can look it up. I have my copy right here too, but just off the top of my head, November 1940, where the Nazis had just followed up their massive bombing of Warsaw with the physical invasion of the city. And uh, one of the things that they did when they first entered a lot of the towns of, of Eastern Europe is they would identify obviously religious looking Jews and they would ritually humiliate them, you know, order them to come outside and, and put on their prayer shawls so they could photograph them, um, you know, uh, force men and women to kiss each other in public and so on. Uh, and one of the more horrific acts was they would um, shave the beards of religious Jews. Um, again, photographing these, we actually have documentary evidence because they would photograph this to send home pictures to their wives and girlfriends, you know, having a great time here on the Eastern Front, wish you were here. And uh, there were even occasions of, uh, you know, they would grab Jewish children and light their payos on fire. Uh, just horrible, horrible things. And so the Rebbe on that particular Parsha, he spoke about the different levels of displacement that are referred to in the Haftorah that week, uh, that, that you can have like exile within exile. And he spoke about the idea of being so lost that you can no longer recognize yourself that you wonder, is this me? Am I even here? Am I even Jewish? And uh, the, the, uh, the location of the event that he refers to is he says, when they shave off the beards of Jews. So it's like one, it's, it's one slip as it were in the whole book where he happened to have fractionally mention what was actually happening in the streets, but he was addressing the, the loss of status, the loss of self image that were affecting his audience of otherwise, you know, very devout Hasidic Jews, who all of a sudden are, are there with half a beard or no beard, and, you know, they're distraught with what has happened to them. This, of course, was relatively minor compared to the far greater punishments and humiliations and, and depredations that they would be subject to, but it was early on in the war. 